Miracles Today with David E. Taylor. The greatest movement to ever hit the earth is now here. The Father God and Jesus His Son coming down on the earth and appearing notably in the sight of millions working with David E. Taylor in the 21st century like they did in biblical times as captured on the news. The hand of God looked like an outstretched hand. It looked like a face appeared face. through the clouds. This is incredible. This is the ancient biblical ministry of face to face that hasn't been seen since the days of Moses and Jesus Christ, causing deliverance on a massive scale. It all started when David E. Taylor was just 17 years old, living a riotous life as a gangster. The Lord Jesus appeared to him, and from there, it mushroomed into a global movement and ministry that is now changing the world. It's not a revival, it's a revolution. A new revolution of unprecedented signs and wonders that has not been seen since biblical days. Experience the miracles. In Jesus' name, put those legs up and down. What is impossible with men is possible with God today. Satan has lost his grip over this region. This is her cane. I was very skeptical. What happened? I'd had so much pain in my body for 50 years from arthritis. And all the pain left? Yes. wheelchair for a full year. This is your first time getting out of the wheelchair like this in a year. Yeah. He couldn't do this. No. She had a lump on her neck. I had a lump and it's gone. It's completely gone. I don't feel nothing. It's gone. People give the Lord a shot of praise. This young man was in a wheelchair. Doctor says he cannot walk on his heels. He broke what happened. God. He's walking. You at one time didn't believe in God. Yes, I did. I used to curse God. God, I will obey from this point on anything you say. God, it is God. There is a God. If you came in here with a cane or crutch or cancer, you're going to leave without it. And he could not walk on an amputee. Yes. And Jesus gave you a miracle. Yes. And he's not walking. He's had a tumor in the back of her head. Said, Mommy, it's gone. It's not there no more. Jesus, thank you so much. I don't know what just happened to me, but it felt so good. Face to face. Miracles today. Join us now for the Face to Face Miracles Today broadcast with David E. Taylor that has started a revolution in America and around the world. The greatest revelation known to mankind. What if you could have the ancient biblical powers of old lost for thousands of years. The key has been found to bring the ancient powers back to the 21st century. Extending time, time traveling, powers of ascension into heaven and descension into hell, supernatural powers of walking on top of water, commanding storms to obey you like Jesus did. Walking in the ancient glory of shadow powers just like Peter did. Healing many with his shadow. Raising the dead. Invisibility. Dominion and mastery over fire, wind, earth, time, space and water. The power of multiplication. The release of God's healing power through cloths. Resurrection power. It's not just raising the dead. It is to be supernaturally raised up like Paul declared in Philippines. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection. That same resurrection power he also talked about in Ephesians, saying, which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead. In this dynamic revelation, you will learn that when Jesus rose off the ground in mid-air, in front of his disciples, it wasn't what people cheaply call levitation. Rather, in the kingdom, 
God calls it His resurrection power. This marvelous power has been demonstrated in this generation, even with preachers in our time, like with the little boy Davy Walker, rising off the ground during the voice of healing revival. Amazing! This is just the beginning. There is a rich inheritance through a spiritual DNA that you can have. Through his trip to heaven, the Lord revealed to David E. Taylor this ancient revelation, now given to our generation. In his premier visitation to heaven, the Lord allowed him to speak to Catherine Coleman and Smith Wigglesworth, as well as other great generals of the faith like Bishop C.H. Mason. Hear what Jesus allowed them to tell David E. Taylor that has now birthed this landmark, milestone, revolutionary breakthrough in the 21st century. The Lord told Apostle Taylor that it was now time for him to release this revelation globally. The message has the power to revive a backslidden church into the revived, restored, and glorified state that God has destined it to be. This is the 100% biblically guaranteed way for you to truly come into the fullness of your identity, calling, and destiny. Inheritance by Lineage Inheritance by Lineage Electricity of the Father did you know that you can come to a place in your walk with God where you can have electricity from the Father physically manifest where you are? In a divine visitation from Jesus in heaven, David E. Taylor received this revelation on how to operate in the ancient powers of our forefathers. In this series, you will learn that you are called to walk in great power and manifestations that our forefathers walked in. God can take your spirit out of your body and take you to heaven to give you divine revelation. Catherine Coleman had electricity from the Father that manifested in her service. If you honor your forefathers, you can inherit the powers that they had. David E. Taylor was taken to heaven and Jesus allowed him to talk to Smith Wigglesworth, Catherine Coleman and others, teaching him the secrets of how to walk in the power of the saints of old. You too can have this. In this dynamic series, you will learn the revelation that Catherine Coleman taught David E. Taylor in heaven. The glory power that Catherine Coleman walked in, including the electricity of the Father that manifested in her service, will be supernaturally imparted to you. Now listen as David E. Taylor shares with you how to walk in 1,000 times greater than our spiritual fathers in ministry. He will impart to you these great mantles that Jesus taught and released to him personally, face to face. This is a special series concerning David E. Taylor's trip to heaven and what Jesus told him face to face concerning your destiny. Today he presents to you part two of Inheritance by Lineage, Electricity of the Father. It first started when I was in college, 18 years old, and I read Benny Hinn's book called Good Morning Holy Spirit. When he was talking about Catherine and she had this light around her and this smoke, her face was shining like a light. When I read that, it grabbed me because I always read that with Moses. I got on my knees. I said, God, I don't know what this is that this lady got, but I want it. He says, all you do, just thank me for it. So I did it for the duration of the whole fast. Then I came out. Three days was completed. When I came out of there, it was a Sunday morning and evangelist Jackie Schaefer. She was the one who told me about Pastor Bennett. You need to get this book. I feel like God wants you to get this book. And when I did it, it stirred me. The woman who God used to tell me, she says, David, and she was a powerful evangelist, she still is. She comes to me, she says, David, come here, let me tell you something. Now this woman was walking in great power. I come from a place in Charleston where these people had tremendous power. When I went to church, uh, Victory Church of God in Christ, I had never seen people worship. They weren't the typical black church of God in Christ. They had Hosanna worship mixed in. After they were finished praising, they would go deep in worship. Everybody in the building had tears in their eyes. 
I never seen a group of people love God like that. That affected me. They weren't ashamed either. Today in church, you hardly see anybody cry and worship with total abandonment. That's why I do it. That's why I, I learned it strong. And then they were strong in the gifts. They would just start prophesying. You got to understand that this man I went to sit under, he was 93 years old by the time I got to him. I was 18 years old. I met him at 93. Everybody knew him in the area of Charleston, South Carolina. God used him to raise the dead. People who were alive. I'm talking about a man in a casket. They were taken to the cemetery after three days, four days. He stopped him and said, you're going to see the power of God today. He touched the coffin. They opened it. The man jumped up out of the coffin after four days and started dancing. And by the time I got there, he's still alive. I mean, unspeakable power. They, they would tell me in the earlier days when he wasn't as, he was still strong when I got to him. He could drive himself around 93 years old. <laughs> strong. But they says before he got older, how he was walking in great power, they said every, every service almost was filled with clouds, smoke. The glory was so strong. When I got there, I start seeing his sons and daughters walk in power. He was older, but his sons and daughters were like Elder Jared o, Jackie Schaefer. I remember the first time I went with uh, Evangelist Schaefer, and I was like a teenager, and, and you know, she's like an older sister, and her mom was the mother of the church. They took me in like a family, but I, they knew I'd love to witness and get people saved, but I wasn't walking in the gifts like that, calling names, knowing addresses, stuff like that. I saw them do that. I was on the street one time with them and saw it. She was on the street witnessing the people. I would see how they would get people saved just like that, just about the word of knowledge. Just about a word of knowledge. She started witnessing. She, I remember this one, this is what got me. She was witnessing to this one young man and he was a Muslim. <laughs> yeah, he had the bow tie on and the bean pies <laughs> in the newspaper. Y'all know about the Muslims, don't you? give you them bean pies and that bow ties and so she goes up to him and start witnessing him about Jesus you can tell he didn't want to listen whatever and she just started hitting him and then she says there was a there was a baby you didn't do right by he says what are you talking about then she called the name of his uh, his girlfriend he says y'all got an abortion together <laughs> he broke down right then she kept on, he gave his life to Jesus. I was like, wow. I was only 18. I said, now God, if I can get that on the street every time, we get everybody getting saved like that. They like inspired me in the supernatural gifts of the Holy Spirit. And she was the one who told me, read Benny Hinn's book. God used her in my life. Elder Jerido, he was the one leading the church. This, this man's sons and daughters were so powerful. That's how I knew he walked in great power because what they were walking in was, I thought, I mean, it was amazing. I remember Elder Jerido, he had a special gift with his hands. Fire would come out of his hands. Listen, people, I am not lying to you. I saw it. Fire, red fire would come out of this man's hands. When he lay hands, he had a special gift. It, it, the supernatural fire come out of his hands. I remember one service, he was laying hands on people, and of course, when he laid hands, just people dropped like this, just knocked out. You could not get up. <laughs> you could not get up. You're dead. It ain't no, let me receive. Then you get back up off the ground. No. Power. I remember he was praying for, uh, everybody saw this. It was like 150 people in the church. It was a Sunday morning. He was laying hands praying for people, and there were, there were two ladies at the, it was the end of him laying hands. You couldn't see the fire at this time. He was laying the hands on everybody, but at the end of his line, there were two ladies standing next to each other, and when he went to put his hand, a streak of fire came out of his hand that way and out of that way, and it hit both of them, and they both hit the ground, and everybody like, whoa. We were like, wow. I mean, real fire. 
But I remember he had such a powerful gift. You know, my old apostle, he's 93, he would tell him, Elder Jerry, though, you need to, you need to quit laying hands on people so suddenly. Because, you know, he began to get arrogant with that power. He said, you need to quit laying hands on people so suddenly. He says, uh, you're going to lay hands and a demon going to come out and knock you in your head. Something like that. He says, the Bible says, don't lay hands on no man suddenly. And I know people uh, uh, refer to that as the doctrine laying on the hands of just uh, transferring honor or laying hands on somebody, ordaining them in ministry. But there's also a, 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 um, a principle where Jesus would not lay his hands on people. Not because he was afraid of a devil, but it's about crossing territories. Sometimes you cross territories in the spirit when you, when you uh, lay hands when the Holy Spirit don't want you to do that on somebody. Do that make sense? It ain't that the demon more powerful than you, but if you put yourself on their territory, they'll knock you out. And of course, he had not really graduated into other realms. He was just in that realm of laying on of hands. And that's a limited realm. It's still the basic doctrines of Jesus Christ, Hebrews chapter 6. Did you not know raising the dead is really a baby's power in the spirit? It's the basic doctrines of, of Jesus Christ, raising the dead. That's why Jesus allowed the disciples, who he also called babes, to raise the dead and heal the sick. You can do it when you're a babe in Christ. You don't have to be saved no 20 years to raise the dead. You can do it now. So, you know, he didn't listen and he would just lay hands so fast. And and one one day we saw this. We all saw this. He was laying hands. It was on a little child. And she had some demons. We lay hands on her. A demon came out and just knocked him, socked him in the face, knocked him out. He was on the floor for like hours. Couldn't get up. My old apostle had to come down and rebuke this spirit and, and loose him. He got up and he told him, I told you, just because you have this power, there's certain things you can. You got to understand boundaries in the spirit. Like even though Jesus was the son of God and he had all power on earth, it says when they tried to kill him, he ran and hid himself. Well, if you're the son of God, why you got to run and hide yourself? Sometimes you got to follow God. It may look like you're weak, but you're not. You have to humble yourself to perimeters. He ran and hid himself. What the son of God doing running and hiding himself because somebody wanted to kill him? Because he knew they would do something. Could he have used spiritual power? Yes, but he didn't. God don't always want to do things like that. Do you understand that? So these people were walking in power. When I got to them as a teenager, I, I was unspeakable. But they all loved Pastor Benny's ministry. He was on the rise in, like, this was in 1991, 1990, 1992. He was on the rise. And she said, read his book. I read the book. Like I told you, I do the shut-in. Then I go preach. And she comes to me. This is the woman who comes to me to give the word of knowledge on the street. She says, David. She says, I got to tell you something. I said, what? She said, I dreamed about this whole service you did last night. Now, she didn't know I was on a three-day fast, nothing from that book she told me to read. She said, I dreamed about the whole thing. I said, what do you mean? She said, the deacon was yelling in the corner just like he did today. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) She says, in the dream, that was notable. She says, but you were telling us an important message. And I said, more people need to hear this. But she says, the most unusual thing, and she says, I saw this, although other people didn't see it, I saw what I saw in a dream last night. She says, as you pace back and forth, there was a cloud around you, and your face was shining through the cloud. <laughs> I started crying. I said, Evangelist Schaefer, listen. Let me tell you what I've done this last three days. I said, you remember that book you told me to read by Benny Hinn? I said, yeah. I said, when I got to the part where Catherine had that cloud around her, her face was shining. I went in the closet and said, God, I got to have this. I said, after a day and a half, he says, I've already given it to you. Just thank me for it now. Just because it don't manifest in the natural yet don't mean God hadn't imparted it in the spirit. And he used her to show me that I had it. She knew nothing. She says, in the service, physically, when you walk, I saw it around you and your face was shining. 
I said, I didn't see anything. She says, she says, you have it. She says, in time it will manifest. She says, if you did this and I dreamed about it, she says, this is a done deal. And I learned from that one experience how to receive inheritance from fathers and people before us. Ask and you shall receive. Then ask believing you've received by thanking God after you ask. Tune in for the continuation of this dynamic series by David E. Taylor. Get the Inheritance by Lineage book for a love gift of $25. You'll also receive a free bonus, the Inheritance by Lineage folder, with rich DNA charts that will lead you to discover your lineage. Get the School of Inheritance by Lineage CD series. You'll also receive a special free bonus, the Inheritance by Lineage book and full color folder. We are starting a university based off what Jesus told me in heaven. When you hear it, you will know that it's amazing and it will take a lifetime to get it all and to study even more. Enroll today, absolutely free, in the Inheritance by Lineage Mentorship Program and University with David E. Taylor. God has spoken to David E. Taylor to personally mentor you and help you fulfill your destiny, calling, and give you direction to discover your true identity. This revelation is a milestone breakthrough that will take you to the next level for the next dimension of your destiny. Call in now, toll free, 1-877-THE-GLORY. Father had a father to daughter talk with you all in the beginning. Did you hear me? had a conversation with the woman before man woke up. Your father communicated with you face to face before you ever met the man. God has to prepare you in his face about who you are to him before he can trust you in a relationship with the man. And because there's a shortage of real kings, then people just grab anything. But if you wait on the Lord, he has 10,000 who has not bowed. And every woman got to become her father's daughter before you become a wife. A lot of daughters of God are not groomed to be married. That's why I pray that that Esther anointing would come on you because she knew how to prepare to be a wife. She was a woman of destiny and purpose for king. Ruth was in a position for a Boaz to come to her. She was a submissive wife to her husband. Hannah! She had an anointing to believe God to give her a miracle where it was impossible for her to bear. A woman is not a female gender. It is an office. You cannot be a wife until you learn to be a woman. But Father began teaching her who she was. He says, you are a helpmeet. You are a virtuous woman. Your existence is a warrior protector, and I created you to surround this man. The greatest authentic women's movement from God happening today. Women of Destiny Conference with David E. Taylor, May 7th and 8th at 7 p.m. Eastern, nightly. There is a communion with you that he will have that he won't have with a man because you're different. Women who pull down principalities and strongholds. You are a spiritual king with supernatural power with the ability to remove demon princes from regions around the world. At this year's Worldwide Women of Destiny Conference with David E. Taylor, you will be supernaturally empowered to dethrone demonic principalities and pull down their strongholds. You will take their crowns, scepters, and their thrones. Regions will be set free, and the precious people who are under their rule will be delivered. Call now, 1-877-THE-GLORY. 
That's 877-843-4567. Visit koggc.org. Register now and receive a free MP3 message to listen to beforehand to prepare you for the Women of Destiny Conference with David E. Taylor. For 30 years, David E. Taylor has continually blessed those in need, reaching the world with the good news and the love of Jesus. Because of the devastation of the coronavirus, it is now time more than ever to help those in need. Partner today with Apostle David E. Taylor's Convoy of Miracles a national outreach in America that is caring for those in need by feeding the hungry and clothing the homeless in cities all across America. The Convoy of Miracles. These 15 trailers, 10 semi-trucks, and five special trailers will be used to reach those in need all across America. Whenever there are major unfortunate circumstances or disasters in people's lives, such as them being homeless or natural disasters, such as hurricanes, tornadoes, or floods, the Convoy of Miracles will then pull up with the 10 18-wheeler trucks full of quality food and clothing supplies. The Convoy of Miracles will also pull up in every city. Apostle David E. Taylor holds a Miracles in America crusade to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Before the Miracle Crusade, these trucks will bring help to those in need, displaying the love and compassion of Jesus. Ten trucks will be used to bring clothes, food, hygiene products, and supplies to the masses. There will also be five special trailers to meet people's needs. The shower trailer will be able to give the people a clean shower from being on the street. The barber shop trailer. This is where the men will get their hair cut free and the women will get their hair done in this salon. The hot food truck will serve nutritious hot meals daily. The medical truck will do free health inspections, providing treatment and medicine for the sick. The office truck will be used to administratively serve those in need and work to find proper housing for each person and family. Become a covenant partner today with Apostle David E. Taylor for the Convoy of Miracles. At the judgment, Jesus will speak these words to those who cared for others during their life. For I was unhungered, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in. Naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. I was in prison, and ye came unto me. Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, you have done it unto me. Here is your opportunity to obey and to love Jesus and his people today. Give now by calling 1-877-THE-GLORY at 877-843-4567 or visit KOGGC.org. You can also give through Cash App at dollar sign KOGGC1. Call in now to the 24-7 Supernatural Prayer Line where miracles happen every day. Connect and follow David E. Taylor on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and Livestream. For updated itinerary, events, and for more information, visit kogc.org.